kilomita tatu kutoka mji wa Kikuyu. Kinamasi cha Ondiri chenye mvuto wa aina yake kimejitengea nafasi. Jina Ondiri lina kisiwa kutoka kwa neno la Kimombo Old Lake. Inasemekana kina masi cha Ondiri kilikuwa ziwa kabla ya machafuzi kutokana na shughuli za kibinadamu karibu yake hivyo kuchangia kufunikwa na mimea. Sifa zake si tu humu nchini bali hata katika bara la Afrika ambapo ni cha pili kwa kina baada ya Dwala Cameroon. Sifa moja kuja kina masi hiki ni uwepo wa sehemu tepetepe ambayo hurukaruka inapo kanyagwa. Miaka ya hapo awali wakazi wa karibu walitumia maji ya kina masi hiki cha ondiri bila kufuata sheria. Maji taka yalielekezwa hapa na pia kemikali kutoka kwa mashamba zilirushwa hapa. Wenye mifugo nao walikata nyasi za kualisha mifugo wao hivyo kuhatarisha uwepo wa kina masi hiki. has really been encroachment and degradation from agricultural activities. So people will really build greenhouses along the wetland use the water without any limits and also um, discharge their effluence into the wetland and that will really um, lead to soil erosion and also growth of macrophytes that are brought about by the fertilizers and the chemicals they use in their farms mwaka 2016 mwamko mpya ulionekana baada ya kundi la Friends of Ondiri Wetland and Kenya kubuniwa kwa kweli kundi hili limepiga hatua kubwa ambazo zinarejesha Ondiri kuwa kivutio started this work we had very dirty water oozing out of this wetland we have a, a river here uh, that comes directly from this wetland it's called Nyongara and it used to be very dirty Today if you go there you'll even be tempted to drink water from it. We didn't have some buds that are called grey crested crane buds. These are indicators of um, a, a healthy wetland. We have several of those buds. When we started our conservation journey in 2016 there were no those buds. Kina masi cha Ondiri hakiwavutii tu watalii wa humu nchini bali hata wa kimataifa. George Raia wa Canada ambaye ni mtaalamu wa maswala ya nyuni hakosi kutaja juhudi ambazo kundi la FOC limeweka kutunza kina masi hiki. George anaongeza kuwa ni vyema vijana kuhusika katika utunzaji wa mazingira. I'm encouraged to see your generation because your generation cares. My generation screwed things up and my father's generation and it was only a couple of generations like my grandparents my grandmother knew all the plants and all the animals and things around in the area but those next two generations which i'm part of was screwed it up but i'm very encouraged when i see including my own grandchildren that i see concerned and care about the environment and i want to tell you you can make a change you guys can save the world no matter what you hear things are happening around the world they're happening right here in five years this is incredible Samuel Njoroge mmoja wa kundi la Friends of Ondiri anasema mlahaka mwema baina yao na wakazi wa karibu umerahisisha kazi yao ya kutunza kina masihiki Bwana Kiriko akiwa mmoja wa wanajamii ambaye alitoa shamba la kujengea vyo vya kisasa Serikali nayo pia ikiingilia kati kuona juhudi za kuhifadhi ondiri zinafanikiwa. So as was now just to talk to partners like Nema who accepted and Mze wrote to us officially that I Mr. Keriko have donated this parcel of land to the work of ondiri. So what you see where you see the container and this toilet here it's a donation from our community kina masi cha ondiri si tu makazi ya wadudu wanyama na ndege bali pia ni chanzo cha mto Nyogera na kina mto cha mto Nairobi 
mito ambayo hutoa maji ambayo huwasaidia wakazi walioko karibu kwa matumizi ya kila siku. Ndege maarufu kwa lugha kimombo Crested Crane Bird ambao walikuwa wametoweka wameanza kurejea hapa baada juhudi za kuboresha kina masihiki. One of our resident bird that had uh, been in existence here but it went away due to dumping and everything and the pollution is the grey crested crane but after our great efforts we have now seen it come back Swara aina sitatunga ambao walikuwa hapa awali inakisiwa kuwa watarejea juhudi za kuboresha kina masihiki zikiendelea We used to have sitatunga antelopes these are now almost getting extinct we used to have one here not one but several but due to many years of uh, pollution and you know lack of community awareness now we don't have even a single one so right now as you asked what are the measures we are taking we believe we can have the sitatunga back we only need to work with partners like kws once we have the gazettement then we are able to approach kws you know in a legal way and they are able to donate maybe to us two or three sitatungas because they still exist and they in Rupma National Park and Saiwa so we can get a few Iwapo tunataka kuendelea kuona mtiririko wa maji yaliyo safi kutoka kwa mto Nyogera na Nairobi lazima tutunze kina masihiki cha Ondiri. Ondiri kikiwa ni chanzo cha maji yanayotumika na wakazi wengi wa Nairobi kinastahili kutunzwa la sivyo tutakuwa tunafanya mazingara juu ya mazingira. Ni kripoti kutoka Gatuzi la Kiambu jina langu ni Wilberforce Atamba